Alright guys, welcome back. It's Gorley with Gaming with Gorley, and I'm back for a Ready to Rage with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I remember playing this when I was younger with a friend quite a bit. Um, I remember one time going over to his house to stay the night specifically to beat it. Um, I remember the point that we got to. Uh, hopefully I can get to that point again. And if I remember correctly, it wasn't even that far in the game. Uh, we spent quite a bit of time going through it. So, uh, let's just jump in there and see what happens. I remember um, Donatello was the man to have, and Raphael was the uh, was the one to sacrifice if you were in a sticky situation. So, um, well, oh, you can destroy this. Okay, I was gonna say, don't tell me I forgot already about stuff. Okay, so. Not much of a boss, because I've already fought this guy, so I don't know why they're, they're playing the boss music for that. Maybe they just didn't want you to rush on ahead. Uh, it's nice that these guys drop down. I think they, they drop stuff like the uh, the throwing stars that you can use. And the way that everything is timed, you can't like continually swing. Like in the new games, how you continually shoot and break those things. So, let's just keep going. No, I gotta rush down there so I don't get hit by that fly or whatever it is. Uh, it's been a long time since I spent any time watching Team Neutrals, so I don't remember everything. But I do remember this is uh, against the Foot Clan from the, the good old days. And right off the bat, we are faced with. Oh. Bebop. And he is going to murder me. Because there's Bebop and Rocksteady, and oh, sorry, I'm trying to think. A friend and I used to play Counter Strike. Um, not really that much online, because I was on horrible, horrible dial-up. So whenever we did get the chance, we were Bebop and Rocksteady. Oh, I I remember that. Pretty much, you get to the end to die. But anyways, we were Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, we chose those as names. What is down here? Bebop and Rocksteady, and um, I played a lot of Counter-Strike, but pretty much against the bots, just because of the slow connection speed that I had, and I got fairly good at it, but only because um, I would play without volume against them, and I would put them on- holy cow, the guy's on fire. Um, what in the world are those things? Those weren't there before. Uh, uh, let's go with Rob. Um, play without fight. He's back! What is that thing? I don't remember those guys at all. But, play without volume. So, I never knew where anything was coming from. But, uh, but I'd be able to pick up on the weapons, how to use them correctly, and, and all that that fun stuff. So when I would play with people, that's the time that I actually used the volume. And it made the game a lot easier because I could see or I could hear where people were coming from and not only see them. And then uh, so it just made things move a lot smoother. I don't know how this game is going. Oh this guy's gonna murder me. Can I just jump over him? Yeah. Sweet. Okay Raphael's doing alright. Leonardo did not do so cool. Okay, that's the one we went in. So let's go to this building. Because we gotta go save April. Let's see. Okay, good. I don't know what that thing is, but I'd rather not fight it. Oh, here we go. That guy looks kind of like a flamboyant hippie. Oh, that those three guys. Okay, we'll just skip. I know. Ah, oh, so close. Michelangelo. I want to save Donatello for last because. Hey, didn't Raphael kill those guys in one hit? Is Michelangelo weaker? Drop behind this guy, sneak him. That was not much of a sneak. Okay, good. We're able to just jump right by those guys. 
you think they make Michelangelo better because he was a favorite. Well, maybe that's why they made him worse. Okay, this is the part that you need Donatello for sure. Come out here, get a rock study. Let's see if I remember on the switch. And then this is just staying close to the edge and just do this because he keeps jumping up into it. And eventually, if you have enough patience, you will kill him. This is pretty much the point that I remember getting to. After this, I don't remember anything of the game. Maybe because after this is the part where we always died for hours on end. Sometimes you block some of the moral things out. Alright, I killed him. Kill him with two guys left. I don't think there's a way to revive your old people. So... See how far I am. Alright, April O'Neil. Don't let the Foot Clan destroy the dam. Okay, yeah, it is the Foot Clan. You have my support. Great, we have a lady supporting us. Looks like there are three places on the map to go. Alright, that guy died fairly quickly. Oh. Oh, okay. You gotta hold up to actually hit up. I knew I should have gone up there. Okay. I think that these guys will come back, yeah. If you walk oh, oh no. If you walk away from an area and then walk right back in, the monsters that spawn there can have a chance to or will spawn right back. But I don't think the same ones will. I think it's just uh random. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I'm back to the same health that I came in this building with. Those guys are freaky. I don't know what they are. Look at two legs. Oh, UFO thing. Get a couple of cheap hits on these guys. Really? He doesn't turn around? Oh, and I gotta kill this thing. This might take a few minutes just to jump up here. Oh, that's the boss. Okay. That makes more sense then. Okay, I'm down to like half health. Yeah. Okay, those things can also... Hmm. I don't know if I should go through that door. Is that sign supposed to be saying danger? Oh, I guess I have to go through that. We'll just take the long way around, apparently. We'll just go right back in here. Okay. Kill this UFO thing. Hey, kill it one hit. Sweet. The reason I'm not climbing ladders when I jump is because it is not allowing me to. I keep jumping and holding up because in a lot of the new games you can do that. like a certain hit range that you can do with certain people but not other ones. Like, I think Michelangelo and Leonardo would take those things down. Uh, but in like the the upper facial region of this guy, he doesn't do a thing. So. Alright, full health. Man, he just like clears these guys out though, no problem. Nope. Oh man, doing way better with Donatello right now. Way better than awful. Still not all that great. Okay, these guys should be easy to kill. Oh, it's a mess.
I like that the uh, chainsaw guys have to use a melee weapon, and every time you hit them, they kind of lean back a little bit. So they don't really get to you. These guys are death of me. Hmm. I'm gonna need that, probably. Or whatever comes. Nope. I just. Can you switch? Nope. You can't revive anyone. Gonna take it, cause it's there. Pretty much ideal. That's why I grab it. Okay, so all these guys get to respawn. I gotta fight them all over again. Oh no. Okay, good. Oh, garbage. If I don't make this jump, I'm hosed. Okay, good, I did. I feel like I've already made it much further than before. Okay, there's one way to go. Oh no. I just wasted too much time. If anybody remembers this game, they remember this level. This awful, awful level. I clearly remember this now. You gotta race against the time, which is on the bottom, to try and uh, deactivate all these bombs so they don't blow up the uh, dam. And then there's all the uh, the awfulness around you. It's trying to stop you. And these, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, these plants, I guess, will electrocute you if you touch them. Just like that. I'm guessing I can't go down right there. Because the screen didn't go down with me. So. We'll just keep trekking on through this. I got less than a minute to go. Um, we'll see how this goes. Alright, more than a minute. Not less than a minute. A little bit more than a minute. Oh, don't tell me I was supposed to go down at that point. I probably was. Okay, this is... This is cheap. 